talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so crappy? What? You're because, excited about something. Because it's Tommy Johansson. Tom- Tommy! Tommy! I forgot what his followers were called. I just read it, too, because I replied to all the comments. And I read it, and I... Oh, Team Tommy. Team Tommy! Team Tommy. So, yeah, this is going to be kind of a special one that builds off of something we did last week. Okay, well, I'm interested to see what that's all about. But before we get into all that, welcome Savage Reaction Crew. I'm David. I'm Angie. I'm a little bit of everything. A whole lot of rock and roll. Make sure you subscribe. Like. Share. Ring the little bell. And comment down (laughs) below. It helps with the algorithm. (laughs) So, building on something from what and when and who? Last week, we did a reaction video to Tommy covering... I remember. 18 and... No, not I remember you. It was 18 and... No, I remember watching Tommy last (laughs) week. It was a different (laughs) Skid Row song. Oh, okay, all right. It was not I remember you. It was 18 and Life. Yes. He did an excellent job. Excellent job. Um, What I'm building on here is that... Uh, this was a request underneath. Tommy did a duet with the current lead singer of Skid Row, Eric Gronwall. Gronwall, who is also Swedish. Ah. Yeah. So, interesting. Yeah, there's a whole story with Eric, and I'm, I'm not going to go into everything, but you can look it up if you want to know the whole story. But it's not Eric Day, it's Tommy Day. Tommy Day. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, Eric is the current lead singer of Skid Row, <clears throat> Eric and Tommy did this cover, this Sabaton cover, and it is, a, I'm going to say it wrong, yeah, Carolus Rex. Rex. I'm like, is it, is it what it looks like? Carolus Rex. Car- Car- Carolus Rex. So, let's just, I mean, that, that's my story. Okay, well, we got the story, <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, she's ready, I'm ready, you're ready, uh, three, a two. A one, go. Oh, a very Swedish production. <laughs> That's awesome. That's all right. There's Tommy. Yeah, Tommy! Two Swedes united.
Thanks, Tommy. I winked back at him this time. He didn't see me. What? I winked back at him. <clears throat> so is that your first time hearing Eric Grunwald? Yes. I, I've heard him before because I've seen the comparisons, especially in doing the same songs between Sebastian Bach and Eric Grunwald. How is he doing? Is he able to pull it off? Because it's hard to fill the shoes or attempt to fill the shoes of Sebastian Bach for Skid Row. And um, a little bit of the story is that he absolutely loved Skid Row. He was on a uh, talent show, The Voice, or one of those kind of talent shows. I don't, I can't remember off the top of my mind specifically. It's late. We've done a lot of stuff today. But he was on one of the talent shows and wound up, I think, winning the talent show, wound up, um, he had some illness going on at, at one point as well, but he did wind up. Uh, the, the, the the winner of the show wasn't necessarily, the prize wasn't to go with Skid Row, but they saw him and whatnot, and he wound up so he was singing. So when we were out of Vegas a couple of years ago, a couple summers ago, we had just come back down from Vegas, and remember Sebastian Bach was playing over at um, at the Strip, well, and um, what was what, what it called? Uh, we're not going to remember. Off the Strip. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, anyway, <laughs> he was playing in Vegas, and Skid Row was playing in Henderson at the same time. Gronwell was singing for Skid Row at that moment while Sebastian Bach was in Vegas. So same show was going on in two different places, <laughs> kind of in a way. So there's comparison videos of Sebastian doing a song same night Eric was doing that song. So I've seen some comparison videos. I've watched Eric a little bit before. So this was your first time watching him. And and like you mentioned at the beginning, they're doing a song of one of Tommy's bands. That was interesting too. All right. So I love their their voices together. I think they they played off each other very well and sounded good when they sang together. I'm going to get this out of the way to start with so that I can talk about the other thing. Tommy, amazing, as oh, always. Yeah, love, love you, Tommy. Tommy. I love everything he did. Incredible. Of course. Fantastic. Loved it. His guitar playing, his vocals, all amazing. Okay, got that out of the way. Now, I don't want to blame you directly, but in a manner of speaking, the way that you couched it when... We were in Vegas, and you were like, there's, it, this is, I'm not saying you said these words, but this is how it sort of sounded to me. Don't get people mad at me. No. Think, just, think of what you're going to say before you say it, because I don't want that, people getting mad at me. There's this guy, 
pretending to be Skid Row, and he's not Skid Row, and he's not Sebastian Bach, and, and it just, all the things that were being said, just, I never heard of Eric Grunwald, and I just developed this idea in my mind that I don't like that guy, <laughs> because he's trying to be Sebastian Bach, and nobody can be Sebastian Bach, so I don't like him, don't want to have anything to do with him. I never want to see him. You hadn't listen. I didn't know you hadn't listened to him yet. I, I freaking love that dude. <laughs> He's got a great voice. He may not be. I didn't watch the side by side. It's very likely that he does not have the same exact range or whatever that Sebastian Bach has. But he's got a fantastic voice. He really yeah, does. I, I absolutely clean, agree with it's that. It's crisp. It's solid. And I will agree with that. I would love to her. see some more of his stuff. Yeah. Wow. I was pleasantly surprised because, like I said, I had this presupposition, this thought in my mind that I'm not, I'm never gonna like this guy because he's trying to pretend to be. I'd like but, to see. Wow. I'd like to see Eric doing his own stuff. Yeah. For wow. me, it's difficult. I. Don't, I don't like anybody else singing for Skid Row. I get where you're coming Besides from, but I Sebastian was pleasantly Bach. surprised because he's not doing Skid Row here. Yeah. So I was pleasantly yeah. surprised. So I enjoyed I was like, that. Wow, that is good. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. And look, he likes kitty cats. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's kitty cat. Kitty cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Our dog's not happy about the kitty cat apparently. So I, that's that's. I just wanted to throw I, that out there because I was like, I enjoy, "Whoa!" Oh, these people are gonna write like mean comments about me. No, I, I enjoy. It's not her. I enjoy him for him. I enjoy yes. his voice for him. I enjoy Eric being Eric. I would rather see Eric on tour in his band, the Eric Gronwald band, <laughs> or something. Exactly. I'd like to see him in his like you know like Chris Daughtry band or whatever. Yes. Like I'd like to see Eric in his own band. Yeah, no one give her crap for, about it. It's on me. I was the one who developed this idea that, oh, he's trying to be Sebastian Bach. I'm never going to like him. And I never gave him a chance until just now. And wow, yeah. I was wrong. He is good. For me personally, Sebastian Bach will always be the lead singer of Skid Row. I, I can't. I it's just, like somebody other than Freddie being the lead singer to Queen. To Queen. Yeah. And that's why Queen doesn't even do that. When they're going out on tour, they're like Queen featuring Adam Lambert yeah. or whatnot. They don't they don't still call it just, oh, here's here's a different guy's thing for us. So we're still gonna call the entire thing Queen. It's not. It's Queen featuring somebody yeah. else. Some it, bands... if, I think if Skid Row had done that, if they're like Skid Row featuring Eric Gronwell, I'd be a little bit yeah. more at peace with that. Yeah. But Skid Row but and he wasn't the first one to be a singer. For Skid Row since Sebastian Bach. Sure, They've sure. tried multiple lead singers in there. In fact, he may be too get good for what remains of Skid Row. Yeah. If, do you, does that I, make sense? No, to yeah, you? I know what you mean. Yeah. Because I feel like Sebastian Bach is Skid Row. Yeah. And it's not just his voice and his range and stuff, it's his stage presence. It was his personality. It was everything he brought to that stage, not just the voice. Yeah. Um, so for me, Skid Row is Sebastian Bach. I would love to see Eric Gronwell get big on his own, in his own band, his own Sabaton, his own, you know. His own Skid Row. Yeah. <laughs> not his, the Skid Row. Yeah. I would love that. I would fully support that. Yep. Absolutely. We'd have that all over our channel. Yeah. There's just some bands that you cannot replace the front man. Queen. Another one that I was thinking, those of you that... Metallica. Yeah, those of you that know would know, like, in excess, back mm -hmm. in the day, when they lost Michael Hutchinson, they tried to replace him to keep going, and in, a, in excess flopped, because you can't you can't replace Michael Hutchinson. You just can't. Yeah. So, yeah. I like that dude. I like I him. Am. And He's... Tommy, you're amazing. Yeah, I love them together. That was really good. It was a great duet. Freaking awesome. Good song, too. Loved it. It was, it was catchy. Yep. Like Tell us what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have other thoughts? Do you expand on it? Yeah. Whatever. We'd be interested in knowing. We had some cool stuff earlier in the week. Yeah. We, we had a couple of Brazilians earlier in the week. Yeah. And then um, we had a Canadian 
on make, Wednesday. We're, we're <laughs> traveling the globe. <laughs> we're traveling and the globe. tomorrow. We had Canada, Canada. Uh, can, can, or, I mean, sorry. Brazil, Brazil, Canada, America. Um, and Sweden. then Sweden. Double Sweden because it was a duet. Double Sweden. And then tomorrow is uh, one OK Rock is J-Rock, aren't they? Yes. So it's Japan. Japan. So join us there. And until mm -hmm. next time, peace. Rock on.